Well, if that's really the case, I think China is also trying to impress upon the United States. We have the capability to, of course, send reconnaissance, you know, a reconnaissance balloon deep into your heartland the same way as you've been conducting reconnaissance operation along the coast of China. Mm. You know, you have a lot of issues wherein you have uh, Chinese fighter planes intercepting American reconnaissance planes that are flying along the South China Sea. So I think in the way, if that is really the case, this is a case of China impressing upon the United States, we can engage you in a game of tit for tat. Mm. You can send your reconnaissance plane along the coast of China, mm. although they're still in international waters, we could send uh, reconnaissance balloons right in the United States heartland, if that is simply the case. You know, again, uh, you know, if the Chinese are saying this is simply a civilian weather balloon that have went on course, you know, uh, you have this, of course, uh, discourse going on between China and the United States on what is the real nature of this incident. Do you think this was an overreaction by the United States to actually shoot down the balloon? Well, it went down inside continental USA. In a way, it's exposing American vulnerability uh, to, this, uh, to this operation and also triggered a, you know, uh, the debate. When also triggered a, you know, uh, the debate between the Republicans and the Democrats, the Republicans accusing the Democrats of being soft regarding this, uh, you know, this uh, uh, balloon. And of course, the Democrats saying, you know, we did not shoot it down because it might cause collateral damages. So uh, whatever it you know, would be, the, uh, whether it's a, an innocent civilian uh, uh, weather balloon or it's actually a supply plane, it already tricked a sensitive nerve within the United States uh, body politic. Okay, now if this was in fact a message from China, given the message that China has been trying to impress upon the Philippines as well, would Filipinos be paranoid given this experience to look up and to start looking for these kinds of things and these kinds of messages? Oh, we don't have to look at the sky. Just recently you have the, uh, this ship, a Chinese ship that uh, supposed to ask for uh, you know, SOS from the Philippine Coast Guard. Mm. And the Philippine Coast Guard was so empathic with the fact that they did not find any fishing gear. Mm. And the log, of course, is missing. So we don't have to look at the sky. We simply have to look at our coast. Mm. Or we could look at deep inside our exclusive economic zone where we have four arti Chinese artificial islands that, of course, are full of reconnaissance capabilities. Mischief Reef, you know, uh, Subi uh, Reef, and you know, have about, about four of them operating inside Philippine, you know, exclusive economic zone that are practically military bases and are also listening posts for the Chinese Pe People's Liberation Army's Navy. Mm. So we don't have to need, need to look at the sky. We just have to look at our seas to yes. see that they're all over the place. Yes, but with the, whether it's the sky or the seas, the line of China that this was just something that went astray, this is a civilian vehicle or the civilian vessel that went astray, remains consistent. What can we do in the face of that kind of a statement and in the face of what to you is clearly just a consistent message as well. Well, we have to strengthen our counterintelligence capabilities. We have to strengthen what we call our maritime domain awareness capabilities. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, the, uh, the major vulnerability on our part is, of course, is our air defense system. Given the fact that we only uh, re uh, revive our, the Philippine air defense system in 2018. For from 2005, when we deactivate the remaining uh, squadrons of F, uh, F5 fighter planes mm. are, you know, uh, we're practically blind when mm. we talk about our airspace. So this is where, of course, EDCA comes into the picture. We have to rely on our treaty ally and, of course, our other security partners like Japan, Australia, to strengthen our capabilities when it comes to, of course, developing our intelligence and, of course, counterintelligence capabilities.